All right, so hi, you guys. This is A Talk Fitness Aries, the pretty coach, as well as the pretty preacher here, coming to do a quick video um, as I'm researching to make corrections to a book that I wrote um, some years ago. Just a shameless plug. The book is called The Good Husbandman. It's available on Amazon.com. It's called The Good Husbandman, Spiritual Revelations of Marriage. It is by Jude Yasharal and Brianna Montgomery. All right, so go check that book out, you guys. Be sure to go order it. It's about $15 off of Amazon, especially if you are um, interested in restoration and healing of marriages, basically, and relationships between men and women. Okay, so... Um, I was reading my book again, rereading it, and I noticed that I had um, set, mentioned Jacob and the relationship that he had with Rachel and how he was willing to work 14 years for her. And that used to be my understanding because when I read the scripture, initially that was the way that it appeared. I breezed right over something, but there was a there's a awesome teacher by the name of Holder Schlomit. And um, she has a channel here on YouTube called All Things Her Royal Roots, I think, or All Things Royal Roots. But she used to go under Her Royal Roots. And so I've been following her also for years now. I am biased. I really love the way her mind works. It's very similar to mine. So, yeah, she's a great teacher. She teaches practically and all that juicy and good stuff. So if you're interested in learning more about Torah and the practicality of it, and you're a woman, and it doesn't even matter. You could be a male as well. I mean, men have always been learning for women, right? Come on now, moms, teachers, let's get it. Moving on. Yeah, so she's a great teacher. I'd recommend checking out her channel. Also, another shameless plug. Miss Holda, if you come across this video, okay, just know that I really, really enjoy your teachings. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to also call forth that hopefully, if it be in the Most High's will, we will get a chance to meet one another and serve with one another. Just manifesting right there. Okay, getting to the point, guys. Um, in one of her videos, one of the teachings that I was watching, she mentioned that um, it's a common misconception that Jacob had to work 14 years for her, <clears throat> for Rachel, his wife. And I was like, hmm, really? And of course, because it initially went against what I was thinking or what I'd always understood, I was like, okay. Um, but I, I value her teachings. I value her scholarship. So I was like, I'm going to have to go check this out again. Okay. Sing it, mommy. Um, Daria is watching Gracie. So yeah, I was like, let me go check this out again. You know, I must have misunderstood something. So this is what this video is about. It's sharing the misunderstanding that is common and that I originally feel like I had because I wrote it in a book. So I'm probably going to be re-editing the book at some point um, and, and seeing how we can fix that. But um, I'm new to that process, so I don't know how that's going to go. But I do want to go on record saying that I now understand exactly what Holda was teaching so let's get into it I'm not going to read the whole thing because I don't want the video to be super long but I'm going to go back to where hold on let's go here let me put the highlight part down so you know Jacob meets her is happy about it he then meets her father they're like, hey, stay with me. What do you want, you know, and as a as a a price or as a payment for staying here? Um, apparently, Jacob stayed for the space of a month. Let's just go right here. We're going to start Genesis chapter 29, verse 13. Whip out your Bibles, which is now on our phones, which is what I'm recording this from. So here we go. It says, and it came to pass when Laban heard the tidings of Jacob, his sister's son that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. And he told Laban all these things. And Laban said to him, surely thou art my bone and my flesh. And he abode with him for the space of a month. So it's looking like, um, you know, Jacob, it's a custom that when we go long distances, it looks like from our culture. And even it doesn't have to be a long distance. It could just be, if you go on a journey and you're visiting someone else, that's a distant relative. Um, 
you're going to tell everything. You're going to tell why you're there. You know, these are the type of conversations that's about being just and uh, being truthful and very clear. That's something that I have seen time and time again in my studies of scripture over the years. The men, they always repeated, the servants even, always repeated the instructions that their parents or, um, you know, whoever was responsible for them gave them to the people who they were sent to. There's always this 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 retelling of the instructions and why they're there. So I think that's beautiful. All right, so um, they have that conversation initially, and Jacob's there for a month, it seems, before they have this new discussion, you know, um, about, okay, so you've been here now for a while. Let's, 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 let's talk about some things. So here it goes. In verse 15, it says, And Laban said unto Jacob, Because thou art my brother, shouldest thou therefore serve me for nothing? Like you've been here for a month. You've been, you know, doing what you do around here, helping out around the house and with, you know, whatever. Um, should you be doing that for nothing? Tell me, what shall thy wages be? What do you want? What, 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 what do I need to pay you? How much do you want? And Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah and the name of the younger was Raquel. Leah was tender eyed. I've always wondered about what that meant. I looked into it. I'll share if you guys are interested what I found. Um... Or I'll have to say what I refined because I'm going to have to look at it up again because it's been years. But um, if you want to know about that, put it in the comments below. Um, also, share your thoughts of what you think it means. But yeah, Leah was tender eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well favored. And Jacob loved Rachel and said, I will serve thee seven years for Rachel, thy younger daughter. So here are the terms of the agreement. And Laban said, it is better that I give her to thee than that I should give her to another man. So, okay, abide with me. So stay with me then. And Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed unto him but a few days for the love that he had for her. 21. Now, first, they're talking about the month that Jacob had been there. Okay. In the course of this month, Laban and Jacob are conversing and like, okay, what do I need to pay you? What do you do? Family stuff, you know, but Jacob was on a mission the whole time, though, right? That's what he's there for, to acquire a wife. So, boom, boom, this conversation happens. They agree to, that, you know, I'm going to be here for with you for seven more years, for seven years. That happens, and now here comes up another conversation. Okay? And Jacob said unto Laban, give me my wife for my days are fulfilled that I may go in unto her. So he's already worked this seven years in his mind for Rachel. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. Because now, why is Laban doing this? Because there's about to be a wedding celebration. And in most of our practices at that time, um, whenever a wedding happened, it was either for seven days or 14 days. It don't, I'm sure a wedding can go on for as long as the families should choose. But from what I had seen and studied over my course of um, the years, I've noticed that it's either been a week, a week long celebration or a two week long celebration, sometimes longer. Okay, here we go. So that's why it's about to be a party because there's about to be a wedding. <laughs> You are so cute, mommy. Okay, so they have this party. They have this um, celebration and this wedding. Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. And it came to pass that in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her into him. And he went into her. So Laban brings his daughter in the nighttime. To wherever, to either to his room or to his tent, and they sleep together because, for all intents and purposes, Jacob thinks he's getting Rock Hill, right? So it's nighttime. They didn't have they wine, they drank at the feast, they food. It's good times, right? He feeling good. He sleeps with her, and then the morning comes. So now the light comes. Behold, it is Leah. And he said to Laban, what is this that thou hast done unto me? Did not I serve thee for Rachel? Wherefore then hast thou tricked me, beguiled me? And Laban said, it must not be done so in our country. 
or sorry, it must not be so done in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill her week. So go ahead and stay with her. Th that is customary. And then we'll give you this. We'll give thee this also. What is the this also? If you're thinking we'll give you Rachel, then you are correct. You're following along, right? So boom. And we'll give you Rachel also. <clears throat> For the service which thou shalt serve me with yet seven other years. So when I initially read this with the current with the former understanding that I had, I'm just reading the story and it's looking like, oh, he gets tricked. And then he's like, I'll give you Rachel, but you gotta serve another seven years. Which because the scripture says that he does serve the seven years, it, if you're breezing past the information and you're misunderstanding it, it's going to look like he served 14 years for her before he got her. But that's not the accurate. That's not an accurate understanding. The more accurate understanding. Thank you, Miss Holda, for this. We appreciate your work that you do. The appropriate understanding is he got Rachel. Okay. After the marriage celebration of Leah, he got her right after, but he stayed and worked for seven more years. Okay. So I would still say that it's very possible that he still works 14 years for her. That could still be an understanding and it would be, you know, it'd be understood because technically had the original agreement that he thought was supposed to happen happen, maybe he would have decided that I want to leave now that I've got my family or, you know, he could have decided to stay with him. It just depends. We don't know because that's not what happened. So in essence, he stayed another 14 years. It has something to do with Rachel. It has something to do with Raquel. So anyhow, all in all, the truth of the matter is, and what is clear is that he got Leah first. That first week they were married, he went ahead and, you know, completed that marital ceremony and agreement. And then following that week, he received Rachel. Without having to work another seven years for her, he acquired her as his wife. She was already his while he was working the other, the other seven years. So he did work a total of 14 years for Laban, but it wasn't necessarily to just, he had already acquired her, if that makes sense. But for Laban, it was like you're working seven years for Rachel. You work seven, in my mind, for Leah, and you work at another seven for Rachel. So, yeah, hope that makes some sense. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you like. Um, if you're new to the channel and you've been browsing around and you've looked at some of my other videos and you are interested in my content and you enjoy it, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my other cool random videos. It is my pleasure. Peace, love, light, and darkness, which all work together to bring balance and harmony first within ourselves and then within our world. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day.